Hello, welcome to tonight's episode of the Group Therapy Podcast. Not much of a group tonight, just me. Uh, I'm going to be bringing you some, uh, talk about some comics and stuff like that. Um, I'm sorry we missed last week. We just uh, had took a break, had some stuff going on. Uh, we wanted to get things caught up a little bit better. Um, still not 100% caught up. We hope to be 100% caught up by next weekend. Um, so I hope you enjoy today's episode. Um, I'm going to be going through some books, bagging and boarding, all that fun stuff, and processing books and putting them in the system. I don't know if any of you guys use, I use uh, CLZ Comics, Collector's Comics. Uh, it is great. I enjoy it because it does have, boom, as you can see there, if you can see the blur. Um, all you gotta do is add comics and you can scan the barcodes, which is nice. So I'm going to scan this newest issue of X-Core. Boom. In the system. Uh, not gonna lie, I was not a big fan of this book. Uh, a little disappointed actually. Um, it's... Not 100% what I thought it was going to be, so but I'm hoping it will be down the road a little bit. So, as I completely start running out of tape almost immediately. Uh, if you're ever a comic book collector, you will know that tape is your best friend. Um, right now, went to wrestling today, which I haven't been to wrestling since, I believe, November 2019. If anybody knows me, I'm a pretty good wrestling fan. Um... Not a WWF, WWE fan, even though I was when I was a kid. Um, but it is nice being able to get to wrestling. Uh, got to hang out with my some uh, good friends, uh, Brent and uh, Ed. Shout out to Brent and Ed and, and uh, Brent's wife, Laura. Um, we've got to go over to Connersville, Indiana. Go to IWA Wrestling. Uh, it's, I look a lie. It's literally what looks like an abandoned uh, uh, little tiny ass grocery store, um, but it was fun. Um, it ended with a no ropes uh, barbed wire match. Uh, I expected a little bit more, but it was still fun. Uh, just bagged up Space Bastards number five. Space Bastards is a funny ass comic book it's so wrong on so many levels but it's funny um it's Derek robertson's doing the artwork on it you may know Derek robertson from the boys one of the co-creators of the boys and he did some other stuff transmetropolitan for dc and whatnot um i'm gonna scan this one in boom there's this issue of magic I am not a huge Magic fan, even though I sell the heck of it, heck out of it at my shop. I really like the comics. Um, it gives a lot more background than just you know a little bit of trading card info that you get on the board on the on the on the card. Um, so, but it's a fun book. If, if you know, if you know, you don't have to know a whole lot about Magic, but it does help. Um, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm a fan of it, so I'd like to see it going. Uh, newest issue of Conan. Uh, I love it's putting Conan in the uh, Far East. Um, and it's not necessarily Conan's uh, normal forte. He's kind of at uh, maybe a little bit of difference. Than what he normally would be at, but it's still a pretty fun book. I'm I'm uh, I'm really digging what Marvel's doing with Conan since they brought him back. Um, not as much as I'm I'm liking the uh, Sumerian from uh, uh, a Blaze comics. Theirs is reprinting uh, old French reprints of uh, the uh, actual Conan books. Spider Woman, newest issue of Spider Woman, right there. Uh, I'm so glad they bought back the original costume. Um, I 
like Spider-Man, I think that that costume is is pretty classic and hard to to replace. Um, I, now I'm not gonna lie, I know some people who really like some of the costumes. Um, not a fan of the black one so much. Um, the biker girl look, I, I didn't mind it, but I thought it looked like what Spider Woman would wear when if she was just hanging out with civilians. So I just kind of didn't have the, um, I, I just did not have the love for it. So, um, I'm not gonna lie there. Let's get that one in. No, not scanning. So, yeah, I, I, I'm a Spider Woman fan from way back when. Uh, I, I rewatched the cartoons when they put them on Disney Plus. So, there's that. All right. Black Cat. Um, I kind of like what they did with this one. Uh, Black Cat's always had a, a very sordid history with uh, uh, Black Fox and we get some uh, uh, play with that in this newest issue um, you get you know Black Fox basically sells out people to get his youth back and immortality and it goes from there uh, I don't want to give too much away I'm kind of digging what they what they did with Black Cat uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan been a fan of Black Cat for years upon years um, as I try to get my tape here so moving on to the next book which is it is Carmen I cannot praise this book enough um, the best way I can describe this book is it's tragically beautiful. Um, it's beautiful art from uh, Guillaume March. Guillaume March. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that. So he's one of the ones that worked on um, was it Gotham City Sirens. So there is that. And then, the end of the storyline for what's been going on in Amazing Spider-Man, we get the one-shot, King's Ransom. Uh, actually was impressed with this because I was so not happy with what they'd been doing with uh, Spider-Man. To be honest, a lot of the books were a... Um, basically not spider-man books they mostly focused on uh, boomerang which i'm not a problem with with giving these guys solo stuff but man you could have gave it a one issue one shot of you know maybe spider-man presents boomerang or something like that instead of tying up a bunch of issues of spider-man with a character that not a lot of people took cared about um but that does make you care a bit for him. Um, X Factor. Uh, can't, gotta say, I really like the lineup on this team. Um, I'm a big fan of Alpha Flight. If anybody knows, uh, I like the fact that they're giving uh, North Star and Aurora some back, uh, um, some uh, front front stage, uh, center stage time. Uh, I love the fact that that uh, Deccan will not leave uh, Aurora alone, and I, I'm I'm pretty happy with that one. Uh, unfortunately, I am not happy with Children of the Atom. Um, this book should have been something so much better. Um, I just cannot get into it, and I mean it's a mini series. So, I'm getting all the issues, because hopefully it'll be something better down the road. Um, I, I'm just, I just don't, I just don't have the feelings for that book that I should, I guess. Um, given the fact it was supposed to have been out well over a year ago, I don't know if they decided to change some stuff or not. But, it just, it just 
doesn't get me like I think it should. But this one, Spider-Man, Spider-Shadow, it's what if, it's what if uh, Spider-Man, uh, Peter Parker had never gotten rid of the Venom symbiote. Um, this is phenomenal. I'm not going to lie, this is wrong. Um, basically, you know, Spider-Man does not screw around as Venom. Uh, he takes the, basically the, uh, the fight right to all the villains and just basically just starts taking them out one by one by one. Um, I can't wait to read more of this book. Um, I kind of hope we get more ongoings like, uh, um, the Symbiote Spider-Man book that they got out. Uh, I'd like to see that. Next, we're going to talk about Guardians of the Galaxy. Boom. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, it's not exactly where I want it to be. Um, I kind of like the fact that they're kind of going back before. Everything that happened in the last, you know, story arcs is, you know, happened. But they brought the team back together. It's not... Um, Star Lord just wandering around through space and and uh, whatnot. So and having entire lifetimes to spend with people in this the matter of a few days. Um, talk about Giger or Geiger, Giger counter, Geiger counter. Um, I don't know how this book. This book is. Uh, Still leading up, the, the, the hero has barely showed up at all, uh, but I think we're getting the backstories that are going to lead up to him being like the massive hero that I believe he's going to be. So, it's a little slow, but it's only issue two, so is it really that slow? I guess if it continues into the issues three and four, it's that slow. So, <laughs> but right now, Boom, this is a hot one. I love this book right now. Star Wars. It's the War of the Bounty Hunters. It's what takes place um, after Empire Strikes Back. And this is canon. Um, it's Boba Fett trying to get... Uh, Boba Fett's trying to get Han Solo back to Jabba the Hutt. And then all the bounty hunters who are going after him. There we go. Stupid thing didn't want to work today. All right. I don't want to give. See, I love, I love talking comics, but I hate giving stuff away. Uh, I hate people that give reviews of comics and they give the entire synopsis of the book out. So, ah, Fantastic Four, number thirty-two, uh, Peach Momoko cover. Oh, uh, Lady Doom. Doctor Doom decides to get married. Um, I'm not going to say who it is, but it is, uh, wackiness ensues. So, I'm going to put this up here. I got two copies because I think that that's going to be a, uh, semi-investment book, I guess. Not, not really, but I like the cover and I like Fantastic Four right now and I like the storyline, so... I'm hoping that it, play, it has some play in it, so it is what it is. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I just got a couple books with some really nice covers. So, but I'm digging Fantastic Four right now because Fantastic Four is going back to almost the way it was back in old school uh, John Byrne runs where it really kind of focuses on the family dynamics of the team and, you know, how each of them are personally. Um, boom. Then we got Peter Parker, the amazing Shutterbug. Um, these Hero Reborn books, I was like, oh, they're, they're going to be okay. Another crossover, whatever. Um, these are blowing me away so far. This is, I, I'm a big Squadron Supreme mark. Um, yet again, I like Marvel's like obscure teams for some stupid reason. Big fan of, oh, I guess not obscure, you know, I like Alpha Flight. Uh, I like old school champions, um, the old school defenders. So we got Hyperion and the Imperial Guard. Hyperion's space travels where he teams up with the Imperial Guard of the Shi'ar Empire. So 
that's fun. Um, you kind of got to read this one before you read Heroes Reborn. Uh, issue 2, which is probably one of the best books to come out in the last couple weeks. Uh, that's saying a lot because some of the some of the books that I really like have come out in the last couple weeks. So you really find out just how powerful Hyperion actually is in these books. Um, I, I I always thought the Squadron Supreme was a very underrated book, um, very underrated group of heroes. Yes, they're the Justice League knockoff. Not gonna lie, I know full well. I know exactly what they are. I'm not gonna pretend they're not. I mean, Hyperion is Marvel's answer to Superman. Um, you know, you have Nighthawk, who's Batman. Power Princess. Yeah. Chet, who's Wonder Woman. You know, it's 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 just pretty much just the Justice League. Uh, but you can enjoy it for what it is. I'm a big fan, and especially right now with what they're doing, it is so much fun. All right. It was issue of Rorschach. I mean, some of this stuff I'm going to be talking about is a few weeks old because I'm just bagging and boarding this stuff up and talking as I just go through. So you can take my advice and, you know, okay, yes, take it with a grain of salt. I'm a, I'm a uh, collector and a reader, so I don't just buy stuff for, you know, oh, this is going to be worth money down the road. I have hundreds of thousands, I have thousands of comics thousands of comics and I know 90% of them are probably not worth what I paid for them but they're mine I collect them um, I'm perfectly happy with what I have so I'm going to talk about DC's festival of Asian heroes Festival of Heroes, the Asian Superhero Celebration. This is really good. This is the Art Germ variant to it. Um, it's, I'm not going to lie, this is about 50-50. I mean, it is a $10 book. Um, it's a little pricey for what you get, but like I said, it is about 50-50. Um, you know, if you dig, it's an anthology book, so if you dig about half of them, and you think that it's worth the ten dollar cover price? You know, I think it's a little on the pricier side. I wish it would have been like a seven ninety nine book instead. I'd have been a little more comfortable with that. But it is what it is. And we're going to talk about the best uh, team up book that DC is putting out currently today. That is right, Batman and Scooby Doo. Uh, it's 12 issue miniseries. You know, a lot of people give it shit. I am a big fan of the anime style. Batman. And Scooby. I apologize. The, the animated Batman and Scooby Doo. You know, if anybody watched our uh, episode where we talk about our top cartoon series, everybody knows that Scooby Doo is the top cartoon of all time. Plain and simple. So. <laughs> All right, let's see what the next book I got pulling out is. is da -da -da -da. Uh, it is Batman Urban Legends. Yes, it is another anthology book from DC. Um, I'm going to go out on that one again. It is uh, four stories. Um, yet again, it's about 50-50. You get about two good stories and two oak, okay, you know, I think two good stories, one okay story, and then one kind of bah story. Um, that is the John Romita Jr. variant co variant cover, um, but I, I'm 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 not hating it. It is $7.99. It is a little more pricier, but at least it's not ten bucks. So um, right now I'm going to talk about the current. DC is still publishing Future State books, and right now they are publishing Future State Gotham. This is the Red Hood book that DC is putting out for Future State. It's I know it says Gotham, but it is more focused on um, Red Hood. It is a very manga-esque book. 
Um, I don't know how to put it any other way. It is a black and white, um, you know, artwork. There is some of it. Uh, I'm trying to do this without giving much of it away. Um, it's it's very very manga style. Boom. Um, some people hated it. Um, I don't let's say I hated it. Um, I enjoyed it. It is a little not it's not great, but it's not bad. So I will continue to collect it. I mean, you know, I get books and I go through books for years. I am a um, avid avid X Men reader. I have been reading X Men pretty much as long as I can remember since I was a little kid. Okay. So there's the variant cover of Future State. So, but I continue to buy X-Men. No matter how bad I find the storylines, no matter how bad I, you know, get irritated on stuff, I still continue to buy um, X-Men. You know, I, I went through the years where X-Men was garbage. And I've gone through the years where X-Men was one of the best books Marvel put out. I own them all. So. But then there's other books that I'm not going to do that with. Uh, I love like the John Byrne run. Uh, the Walt Simonson run. The George Perez run. Of uh, Fantastic Four. But there is a lot of Fantastic Four I am not going to spend money to buy. So that being said. I don't have entire, I have giant runs of Fantastic Four, followed by big spaces, and then another run of Fantastic Four, and then spaces. Um, right now, I'm currently like most of it, but uh, let's see, somebody's trying to get a hold of me. Okay, so... We're going to do Joker 3, boom, with the Frank, Gary Frank cover. Um, not bad, it is a $5.99 cover price. I believe the other cover is $4.99. Um, it is probably one of the better books right now that DC's putting out. The ironic part is, is that it focuses mostly on Commissioner Gordon and his uh, track trying to track down the Joker so but I'm going to take a small break right about now and I will be back in a few minutes ah what's shaking working out two can sure could go for some fruit flavors fruit flavors just follow my nose it always knows Kellogg's Fruit Loops natural orange lemon and cherry flavors plus vitamin C part of this complete breakfast mmm delicious but gotta run oh no <laughs> Whistling Pops is fun and free in Fruit Loops. Cookie Crook will never get this cookie crisp cereal. But there's a wheel. There's a way. They look like chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Looks like you flipped over the taste of this crispy part of your complete breakfast. If you like cookies, you love Cookie Crisp. It's the Cookie Crisp Win a Hero game. In specially marked boxes, you can get three free baseball cards plus an instant win card. Millions will enter, thousands may win balls, bats, and gloves. One will win a day with a big league star. For game card, right box 8567, Westport, Connecticut. Here they come, Chipmunk Adventure Movie Meal Packs from Burger King. Wow! Four different packs, each with a special surprise. I love surprises. Chipmunk Meal Packs, now at Burger King. Catch them, if you can. It's Chipmunk Adventure Movie Toys at Burger King. Get Simon, Theodore, and... Alvin! Not me! Each $1.99 with any purchase. Chipmunk Toys, now at Burger King. Collect all three. What a deal! We're back. I want to talk to you about some more books. Uh, I'm currently talking with a guest for this week. So if you see me paying attention to my phone, that's what's going on. Um, e, I picked up Eve. I picked that up on a whim. Um, I didn't initially order it. Um, but I kind of scanned through a, another customer's copy. And I was like, ah, you know what? I think I'm going to try this out. Uh, I dig post-apocalyptic stuff. And... 
you know, it, it seems like a, a, a darkly fun book right now, so I'm going to keep going, so, um, the next Batman, uh, Second Son, um, I, I don't know how I feel about this one yet, um, I, I'm just not feeling it yet, um, I think this is one of the weaker books that, that they put out with, uh, um, Future State, this is a four issue miniseries. It, it's, I don't hate it, but I just don't love it. Um, like I said, I'm just not sure how I feel about it yet. Maybe when it's done, I'll, when the four issues are done, I'll go back and reread it. And, you know, maybe I'll like it. Maybe I won't. Maybe I still won't like it. All right. Um, I am freaking in love right now with a lot of these uh, horror imprint books. Uh, Black Caravan and Scout Comics have put out uh, these books. This is, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it, it's, it's a really good book. Uh, it's called Broken Souls Ballad. Um, basically kind of people's souls come to the surface or something like that and you know because you're not still a hundred percent sure yet um, so I mean this is issue one but it's got me hooked and I can't wait for more issues um, then we've got from vault comics vampire the masquerade um, this is the second story arc. It's issue eight. Um, it is an anthology series. Um, not every not every story is a hit. Not every story is a miss. Some of them are good. Some of them are not as good. Um, you know, it's it's one of the ones that I will continue to read because when it's good, it is good. When it's bad, it's not good. But you know, you gotta take and risk it. What was it? If you've ever seen the movie uh, Fired Up, you gotta risk it to get the biscuit. So, all right. Next book is doo -doo -doo, the Star Wars High Republic Adventures from IDW, not to be mistaken for the Star Wars High Republic uh, from Marvel, um, which I think is weird because we're getting two books from that. Um, I think the whole IDW. Uh, and Marvel, uh, IDW producing Marvel books is weird, but okay. Um, when this first started, I actually liked this one better than the Marvel one. Now it's kind of flipped the other way. Um, so, I don't think both, I don't think either one of them are bad. Um, I just think that right now that the, the Marvel one is slightly better. So, all right, next issue is Iron Fist, Heart of the Dragon. Um, I, if anybody knows me, I have been an Iron Fist fan since way back when, back in his, uh, I didn't get to him when I was a little kid, so no uh, original Iron Fist run. Uh, I became more of a fan when it was Power Man Iron Fist. Uh, this is uh, written by Larry Hama, Larry G.I. Joe Hama. Um, it very much has like a giant epic kung fu movie feel to it. Uh, I'm completely happy with that book. I, I have there no qualms about that book. Um, so it, it is what it is. It's, it's enjoyable. I like it. Um, I haven't had any complaints yet for myself. So, but uh, all right. The next one is... The Star Wars Empire Strikes Back art book by Chris Sprouse. Uh, this is literally just all the covers that he did for the Star Wars books. Um, it tells you what issue it, it was in. And it kind of puts Empire Strikes Back in order. But it's an order per um, just cover. So there's no storyline there. It's just a cover art book, I guess. Alright, next book is 
Drum roll. It is The Walking Dead Deluxe. These are just the color reprints of The Walking Dead. Um, I just, I don't know. I had these at one time, the original printings. Uh, I sold them to open my store. Um, I don't know. They're, 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 I don't know how to explain them. They're just color reprints of The Walking Dead. So they're not, nothing spectacular, but, you know, nothing to write home about. And in the next book is... Doo -doo. The Good Asian from Image Comics. Um, I, I'm giving it a chance. Uh, it, it has me interested, but doesn't have me hooked yet. Um, I'm going to keep going, see where it goes, see if I continue to like it. Um, it's a very noir detective series um, with an Asian... Uh, lead in I like I said I'm interested it's got me um, but we're just gonna see how it goes and hopefully it stays good so there's that and then the next book is X-Men Curse of the Man Thing celebrating uh, Man Thing's 50th anniversary um Basically, Man-Thing is just kind of wandering his way through the Marvel Universe going book to book. It's nothing spectacular. Um, it does have more of the darker um, uh, X-Men mutants. The ones who aren't really, you know, able to fit in to society. Um, so you got Marrow, you got Forearm, you have um, the uh, Shark Girl, um, they're all working side by side with Man Thing. So, the next one is this is just a fun book, uh, Strange Academy. Um, that this is a book that uh, I did not think was going to be that good. I mean, it's written by Scotty Young, who's more known for his artwork than his writing. Uh, Umberto Ramos is doing the artwork. Um, I've always liked his stuff from back when. So back in the old. Uh, I think he's doing what crimson and stuff like that. Uh, as I check my messages here, uh, yep, it looks like we are scheduled for tomorrow. So, all right, then upcoming. I, I, I do have a bad habit. I am collecting uh, second prints, third prints, fourth prints, whatever. Um, this is the second print cover to Carnage, Black, White, and Blood. Uh, the Gleason cover. If you've seen the regular cover, there's the reg the new cover. Um, I'm still more of a fan of the uh, first cover, but that's actually kind of cool. I'm, I'm liking it, and pretty much... Carnage, Red, White, and Blood is an anthology book that is far more hits than misses. Um, I, I'm not hating any of that. So, I mean, I think I was only been one bad story in three issues. So, you know, yeah, that's where you go. And, boom, there we go. Issue three of Carnage, Red, White, and Blood. Um, I like this cover too, man. It's a badass cover. Um, and yet again, don't ever change a book by its cover because sometimes that will come back to bite you in the ass. So, the next book is Noctera, the number one, the low and a dark cover. Uh, I know this one's a bit older, but, uh, I'm always a sucker for going to dark covers, going all the way back to the uh, Ghost Rider and Punter or Ghost Rider and Spectre covers back in the '90s. So, and Noctera so far is pretty cool. Um, I don't think it's going to be the next big thing. Uh, some people did because who's working on it? I mean, it's Scott Snyder and Tony Daniels. Uh, after they worked on Batman. 
it's 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 good. It, it it could be great, but it's it's not. So, all right. I don't know why I'm grabbing another bag of board here. Okay, we're ready. All right. Hellions. Boom. Firm. I really like this book. I think it's funny that the the the, the X Men books I'm really liking are not the X Men. Like I like Marauders and I like Hellions, which are X books, but they're not you know the main core series X books like X Men and X Factor and X Force and whatnot. Um, boom! There we go. Noctera number three. Um, I'm. I like I said I really like this and I think it's picking up. Um. I'm thinking maybe next issue it's really going to pop. Um, I always hate it when books take you know three or four issues to really get you in liking a book. Um, but I guess there's always that. Hey, there you go. So there is what it is. Oh, All right, next book we are going to talk about is talk about it, Marauders. Um, I really like this. They're giving Storm some, uh, um, real, um, character development in this issue. Uh, you really figure out how badass Storm actually is, who I've always thought Storm was a badass since I was a little kid. Um, always, always loved Storm. Um, uh, even Mohawk Storm. I mean, that's, that's really when I thought got kicked in that she was a badass. Um... The early ones, early early storm st stories, um, were okay. Um, I think once she started getting into her own and uh, um, became a hero instead of, you know, a deity. <laughs> All right. Next issue is the Deep Beyond number four. Um, I like this. It's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. Um, but I think it's going to slowly turn into what I thought it was going to be. Um, because they are finally showing up. Um, but I'm liking it so far. I mean, yeah. Weird alternate future with, uh, you know, sea monsters. Alright. Next issue is The Union. Um... Not a lot of people like the union, and I get it. It it, it is a can be a slow trudge to get through. Um, I am a sucker for foreign uh, superhero teams like uh, the Invader. Well, the Invaders now, uh, Excalibur, the Union. Um, British superheroes are are fun. I'm not gonna lie. I like the superheroes and from other countries. So, Winter Guard's probably one of my favorite superhero groups, along with uh, Alpha Flight, that's a superhero group from another country. So, the next book is uh, another kind of disappointment. Uh, that is The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, no, wait a minute, nope, 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 this is not the disappointment. The one before this is kind of disappointing. Um... I just really wasn't happy with the storyline of where Spider-Man was going, and I'm not a fan of the new costume at all. Uh, that weird blue and yellow and costume is kind of goofy looking. It's not Spider-Man. Um, I'm glad he got his regular costume back at the end of the last issue. So, all right. Here we go. It is probably one of my top three books coming out right now. The Immortal Hulk. Immortal Hulk. Um, Immortal Hulk is fun. That is the um, homage cover. So, yes, the homage cover. The homage. The homage. Um, I'm disappointed that we're only uh, it a, a handful of issues until it's over. That's not cool. Um... I do like the fact that we're getting Gamma Flight. It's getting a little bit of a backstory. Uh, yet again, like I said, sucker for Alpha Flight. So it's nice seeing some of the Alpha Flight guys getting some more, uh, some more uh, time. So, all right. 
Suicide Squad. Number three. I like this incarnation of the Suicide Squad. Um, the fact that Red X is in it. You know? Um, Superboy. Uh, Peacemaker. I mean, yeah, we're going to get some of the characters who are going to be appearing in the movie. Um, th that's, that's who I would love to see. Get Talon in the movie. Get a crazy psycho Batman-esque ninja. That would have been freaking great, but we're not going to get that. So, all right, next book is... The variant cover for Heroes Reborn, issue one. That's Art Germ. That is not Wonder Woman. Whatever you think, that is Power Princess. So, that, I'm a sucker for Art Germ. Uh, that, that dude does some great work. Um, you know, yeah, I get all of his women covers. I have a few of the men covers, not going to lie. Um, but I am more partial to, to the female uh, Art Germ covers. Uh, yeah, but this is, this is good. Um, the alternate universe, uh, is the characters that we're getting, uh, you know, we get Dr. Doom and Juggernaut, we get Dr. Juggernaut, that's awesome, we get the Silver Witch, we get Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver become one character, boom, we get... The Unstoppable All Gog, which is the uh, Gog and uh, Odin forged into one. And then we get the Infinity Ring holder, Thanos. Wow. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but this is so much fun. The next issue is stupid, stupid good. So... I don't even know how to say how good that the, the next issue is. I, I, I freaking loved it. So, yet again, here we go. This is a little disappointing because the cover gives away a lot. But it is the War of the Bounty Hunters director's cut. It's Soleil and McNiven. A uh, lot, of, lot of Boba Fett. A lot of Boba Fett going on. Uh, I'm a sucker because I'm going to go variant cover variant cover variant cover variant cover uh, another copy of that one variant cover so I, 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 I just was like I couldn't get enough of that stupid book so I had to jump on it and buy like every cover because I'm a dumbass and that's what I do. It's called OCD, children. Look into it. Uh, I don't wish OCD on anybody. I, I joke around about it a lot. It does kind of suck. Uh, I have compulsions to buy certain things. Uh, I had to break myself. I used to always buy... One copy of the G.I. Joe comic book, the one with Snake Eyes inside the uh, the Marvel 25th Anniversary logo. Uh, at one time, I think I had like 30 of them. So, same way with uh, the last the uh, last hunt, Craven's last hunt storyline from uh, Spider-Man. All those four issues. I at one point I probably had 10 sets because I. Uh, my brain kept telling me I needed them so just your brain will probably do that and it doesn't hurt that I collect comic books so it is what it is but this is fun the action figure variant is great um, it if you don't have one you need to go get this book um, I, I 
I can't I can't really go into how good this one is. Uh, and it's just the start. And I hope it stays where it's going because this is fun. It is a good book. Uh, this is War, uh, War of the Bounty Hunters Alpha. So this is not number one. It is an alpha issue, which is a number one issue. hate those. So the next one is... Da -da -da -da. This one kind of short. That's right. Batman. The introduction of Molly. Can't remember her name off the top of my head for some stupid reason. Uh, da -da -da. But, yep. There's the art germ cover. Boom. And the regular cover. Boom. Ah, Miracle Molly. Boom. Um, it's got a Ghost Maker backup story in the back. $4.99 regular cover. $5.99 for the variant. Um, not that you need both of them. Not that I need both of them. But if anybody knows me, I had to show a couple people how many books I get a week. And it's stupid. Um, not gonna lie, if I didn't own a comic book store, I would not buy nowhere near the amount of books I currently buy. I definitely wouldn't buy all the variant covers and stuff. Um, I would just buy the series and go. But, you know, you get stuff wholesale and you own a store, so you buy what you want to buy and enjoy it. So, I mean, like I said, I read every one of these books. You know, I don't read the variant. You know, if I've already just read the book, I'm not going to reread the alternate cover. But I do read at least one copy of every book I currently get. Um, except for one of the books that's coming up. Uh, one of my current favorite books, Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing is fun. Swamp Thing is very reminiscent of the stuff that they were putting out in the 80s. Uh, maybe early 90s. Very much in uh, an Alan Moore feel to me. Um, so there's that cover. And here is the Kyle Hotz cover B. Yet again. Uh, okay. Now we're going to get to the books I have not read yet. Only because with the low print runs that they currently have, and they are bagged. And I did not know when I ordered them they were bagged. So I will just wait for the trade paperback. That is right. I have the Batman Zero Point books. The Batman Fortnite Zero Point books. So all you people out there who want these books, uh, I couldn't even tell you if they're good or not. So... This is an awkward book that they came out with for the simple fact is um, these were never put into the order book until they were too late to order and then they were in the order book. Uh, they were what we call FOC which is a final order cutoff um, and I only ordered like issue I believe three at first and then I went back and found out more and then I tried to buy then I had to go back and reorder the other ones. Uh, luckily, I was able to put in a reorder first and get that taken care of. So, there is issue two. That was issue one reprint. That's issue two first print. So, uh, all right. The next book. Damn, Vader. I, I can't stress how good th that Vader comic is. Um, the storyline where he goes back to Naboo and deals with uh, um, Padme's personal guard. Then you get the ones where freaking uh, Palpatine basically uh, tests him to make sure that he's good enough to be the... Uh, Pretty much the Emperor's right hand. Um, 
it's just good. It's it's. I think Marvel right now with their X with their Star Wars books is some of the best stuff that has been done with Star Wars in years. So, all right. Another horror comic from Image. That is Shadecraft. This book is hot. Uh, this is a book I got lucky and got uh, two more copies of number one. But this is all about a girl who's always being haunted by shadows, only to find out that one of the shadows is her dead brother. So it is a really good book. Why is this doing this to me? So, what is the next one? Alright, here we are. This is Savage Avengers. This is the Horley cover. The Conan Spider-Man Horley cover. Boom. And the other cover is... Boom. Uh, what's great is the artwork is from Piqua's own Patrick Zercher. Um, this is a book I never thought I would need, and then I got it. Now I, I don't know what I was ever doing without it. Uh, the fact that it is a, a Conan team-up book set in the modern-day 616 universe. Um, I'm having fun with it. I'm not going to lie. I think it's a good book. Um, not every Not every one is knocked out of the ballpark, but some of them are really good. So, the next book is Steak from Scout Comics. Um, in an alternate universe, vampires have outed themselves, and they're well known, so there has to be a police force that polices the vampires. And this is one of the tales of one of the investigators or police that and police the cops and it is fun it is an awesome book you should buy it all right green lantern issue two regular cover um the green lanterns are all starting to lose their powers and somebody has killed off the guardians one of the guardians and just it just started really and it is just insane from the get-go all right and here we go for the next book crime syndicate of america or just crime syndicate why this is only a six issue miniseries i do not know and it is sucks so bad because it should be ongoing it should be ongoing um, I'm a fan of the Crime Syndicate. I always thought they were a great concept. The fact that there was an evil version of the Justice League that existed somewhere. So, but that is really good. And then Dune, House of Trades, um, based on the house books from Brian Herbert. So it's good. Artwork's really good. Story's pretty good. Um, I guess if you're not really a Dune fan, um, it's probably not for you. But if you are a Dune fan, then it is definitely for you. You should be out there reading it. Um, and if you are a Dune fan, you probably read House of Trades. You probably already know about it. But it is a fun relook at House of Trades. All right. Next issue is Castle Greyhelm, or Helm Grey Castle. Um, a lot of people are putting out D&D-esque books. Um, this one's fun because it does have a D&D module, a, uh, a playable module in the back. Say boom. It's got creatures in it and the module. So... I love it when people do this. This is uh, from Image and Top Cow. So, I don't want to give a whole lot away, but it is, it's it's a D&D book. 
It's it's a D and a non licensed D and D book. So, from a very um, very variety group of people. All right, boom. Here is Suicide Squad issue three. The regular cover. So, same one I already told you about. Um, they're going after uh, another speedster who is a girl with no legs, but she uses her um, bow legs to, what do you call those, uh, to run really fast, pushes in the speed force. All right, from card. Car Andrews, erratic. Um, it's about a superhero who can only use his superpower for just a few moments at a time, and he's a kid. Um, it's a, very much an origin book. Uh, he barely gets his costume by issue five, um, and that is issue five. So definitely a book you should look into because I think it's going to get bigger with uh, more issues. I do have the horror movie variant of the newest Shadow Man series from Valiant. Is it? There you go. Oh, the Us variant. Um, I just ordered it because I, I was like, yeah, I kind of like the cover. Um, didn't order it for any other reason than that, but uh, ends up being a really good story. Um, happy I ordered it, so... I was kind of Doug Shadow Man since way back when, and I really liked the fact that his new look, um, very, very, um, voodoo, I mean, he's always been connected to voodoo, so it's a very voodoo feel to the book, very voodoo cover, very voodoo mask, so, all right, I think this is a, uh, a thing of honor, is every Spider-Man gets a clone saga, and now that is the beginning of Miles Morales' clone saga. Um, not something I normally order. I picked it up to check it out. Um, so far, good. So, waiting for the next issue. So, there's that. Alright. So I'm going to sit here and talk for an hour. And just tell you stupid stuff about comics right now. So, the next one is Cult of Dracula. Uh, Cult of Dracula is a, a, a kind of a newer retelling of the story of Dracula, um, set in a modern time, and it's from Source Point Press. Um, I'm I like it so far. The artwork isn't great, but it's also not bad. Um, as I've gotten older, I used to be one of the people who had to have style over substance, so the artwork had to be fantastic or I wasn't going to read it so alright Amazing Spider-Man and the Curse of the Man-Thing Man-Thing's 50th anniversary Man-Thing, Spider-Man and the Lizard kinda fight it out uh, yet again not great uh, it's kinda forgetful um, I just read it last week and I could vaguely tell you anything that happened in it so, it can't be that cool. Alright. Now for some good stuff. This is... Berserk 2. Holy crap. Keanu Reeves in this book is... I, I like it. Um, you know, it is, you know, basically written to give a reason to build a comic book or build a movie franchise around it. And that's exactly what it is. Uh, that was the regular cover. That is the foil cover. So. One foil cover, two cover. And then I have another foil cover. And another cover. Then the virgin variant cover. And then the, uh, I don't know which cover, but I have all the covers because I'm an idiot and that's what I do. So, hmm. 
I think I'm going to wrap up this episode. I've been on here an hour just talking about the last few weeks worth of comics. Uh, I will be bringing you two episodes this week. So we're going to give you a comic book review. Almost a whole episode of that. And I will hopefully bring you another another episode that I will be filming tomorrow. So I want to say, uh, remember, Group Therapy TV Podcast is brought to you by Are You Game in Pickle, Ohio. Uh, located at 124 North Sunset Drive, Pickle, Ohio, 45356. Group Therapy TV is also bringing you Saturday morning serials where you can watch Saturday morning ser- cartoons with me as I tell you like little tidbits and behind the scenes stuff and other trivia. Um, and you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can watch us on YouTube. You can listen to us on Podbean. Please remember to like, follow, and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. Uh, like I've said before though, I'm not here to make money, so (laughs) I'm just here to have fun. And so I'm going to let you go. And remember, I'm Paul. I'm not a licensed therapist and good night.